It was in that year that President Jacob Zuma sacked Begitele as police commissioner and appointed Ria Piecha as his successor. I have every confidence that she will show leadership and acquit herself well as national commissioner. Piecha became the country's first female national police commissioner, but she faced a barrage of criticism since she's been in the post. Most of the critics saying she doesn't have the skills to lead the police force. I have never been a police. And I do want to say you don't need to be a drunkard to own a bottle store. Piecha also enjoyed the support of then police minister Natim Teto. Well, three years since that vote of confidence, Ria Piecha now has to motivate why she should keep her blue uniform and her office, which is in this building. And it's all because of this fateful day, August the 16th, 2012. Retired Judge Ian Farlam's commission laid the blame squarely on the police. Among the commission's findings, the tactical response team of 60 members armed with R5 weapons effectively operated as a firing squad. The risk of bloodshed were too high to carry out the plan and thus four mortuary events were requested in advance of the operation. Judge Falam also recommended an inquiry into Piecha and Northwest Commissioner Zuk Iswambombo's fitness to hold office. But Mbombo retired even before the Marigana report was made public. And it would seem Piecha said to put up a fight. And the National Commissioner argued that the report insinuates that management went to work that day with murderous intent. At the helm of the police service now lays in the hands of President Zuma. That's not my decision. I do what I'm supposed to do. I can only tell you that my purpose for being in this organization is to serve and to protect. In 2013, Ria Piecha was accused of defeating the ends of justice after allegedly informing Western Cape Police Commissioner Anna Lamour of an investigation against him. But after reviewing the IPAD report on the matter, the NPA declined to prosecute her. But this time around, it seems the odds are stacked against the National Police Commissioner. Aldrin Simpia, SABC News. Well, at the North Gauteng High Court now, the Davidson cell commander testifying in the Mido Marcia murder trial has told the court how he feared for his life. This emerged during the defence's cross-examination of the officer on duty at the Davidson police station on the day Marcia died. Mpumzi Gamlana was asked why he failed to mention in...